I'm very, very excited because I have the opportunity to interview my parents 30 years in this business called marriage. So, we're going to learn a lot from the wisdom of these people. Oh my god. How, how was it? How was first year for you? My first year was really rough, honestly. Things were forgotten apart with our scattered in both. The marriage is a school that I've never heard of. Mm. You will see that I've ever seen as a book that you must always uncover to a normal. Oh, that's okay. Okay, now I don't, I don't that's think wisdom. I've ever That's how much wisdom. I don't think I've been able to know 100% of my husband. Even for 30 years. Yeah, you can't know enough. Yeah. So for me, I had a list of what I really, what I wanted okay. when I was kind. So certain things that even the next 20 years cannot change. Mm. So if I say I want a man with six months, in the next 15 years, the past okay, might disappear. Okay, okay, okay. So it's very important to have certain qualities that I know that would not change. That would attract me to that. Experiencing that intercourse in marriage for the first time, so it, I had a lot of expectations. So I expect I expected doing the one even like maybe we do like a five or six times a day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was just like, okay, let's do this. Okay, okay. So that was one shock. And the other shock was the fact that. For some days after I got married, we couldn't even, you know, understand? Yes. Have some so pain and all that. Okay. It was not easy. A man being quiet most times to allow peace play does not mean he's a weakling. Mm. But that is one of the tools he feels he can use to create harmony in the home. But it comes a time where a man will stand up and say, no, this thing should be handled this way. But in doing that, we must also learn to present it in a way that their partner must understand. Okay. Doing things with the ingredients of love in making them the okay. peace. Learn to forgive, tolerate okay. for things to happen. Yeah. Okay, take for instance, if you say it's the most important, when you get angry and become uncontrollable, you say at that point there's love. Mm. That means there's no love at that point. But then you must look for something to put inside. Maybe you learn the attribute of patience at that time. And use patience to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Are we communicating? Yes. She wants to talk. <laughs> you know, anybody that talks? Uh, yeah. For me, like, if all that makes me get angry, what I do is that I will draw for that moment. Okay. I then will draw, have my peace. Then I look at the right time to say, ah, I mean, this thing you did. We withdraw sometimes. Yes, I will draw. Okay. I've learned to manage amplifiers. Whatever you're seeing, or whatever bad trait, or whatever thing red right flag you're seeing, manage amplifiers with that. Mm. So if, if a guy is, let's say, he has pushed you once, or raised his voice at you, or he has a, some temper issue, you need to you need to step back. Okay, you, yeah, this is an issue. You need to work on this. If you can't work on this, then you're not going to. I've been been scared of. Oh, this is my wife. There can be some cheating tendency. As that always. That come across before. Those those types of thoughts mm. are not the kind of thoughts that are allowed to come into my okay. consciousness. No. Don't think of that. Because I don't want to even imagine that. So okay. I don't even think of that. Uh, so allow somebody to have freedom. freedom. The freedom does not mean that okay. you 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 want that to happen, no. Okay. But but as a woman, if a woman wants to do anything, she can do anything without, her, without you even knowing, even right in your home. <laughs> so why kill yourself? Maybe the truth is that it's been the best thing that has happened to my life. Oh my God. It's been the best. But I pray that if this were to be a dream, I don't want to wake up from this dream of having you as my wife. It's all I've actually asked for. Oh. I'm very gr grateful to God. How can I say? Like the, the last year has been nothing short of amazing. You have been such a pillar. You have been there for me, so very supportive of my dreams, my aspiration, my crazy ideas. I'm a, I'm a bucket of ideas. You're always, you're always willing to listen to my nonsense. Anything I want to say. Thank you. I don't take it for granted. I want to say a wonderful husband. I just thank God for giving me you. Because you've been so caring, loving. You're always there for us. You've never lacked anything. And I say, if there's another husband, it would have been you. Thank you for being a wonderful husband. <laughs>
Thank God for having a beautiful wife that's allowed me to go through this process to this point. And uh, looking back, where we started to where we are. So we have been so blessed. Uh, thank God for this home.